Hey guys, so you can probably already tell by the title, I am doing- I need to turn my music off because otherwise I'm going to get copyrighted. Woo! Um, as you can probably tell, I am doing my- I am doing my daily makeup routine. It's going to be great fun, you know? It's going to be really entertaining. So let's get on into the video. Okay, so first thing, you're going to want to take off your glasses and tie your hair up. Just wait for me to tie my hair up because- I don't want to get makeup in my hair, do I? That's not fun, is it? No, no one wants to get makeup in their hair. And my face is gross. First thing you're going to pick up is the BB cream. Woohoo! Yeah, boy. I hate myself. Now you're going to want to concentrate and slather the biggest one you want on there. Um, you want the dollop to look like a poop. And you're going to get a brush that you don't know what it is. And you're just going to slather that makeup on there. And you're gonna like rub it all over your face, you know? It doesn't matter what you look like. You're just gonna streak it all over your face. Um, the streak look is really nice. Um, it gives a real nice effect, especially if you really like Snapchat streaks. Yeah, and just use it all up. That was a really intense all. Um, <laughs> just check. Um, sorry if I keep looking up and you can't see what I'm doing because I'm looking in the mirror above me. Um, yep, just wipe it around your hand and slather it on there. Put a little bit on your neck. You don't want too much on your neck. Um, then just do some more streaks. And yeah, you're done with the... Uh, it doesn't matter about the brushes. But you're done with the BB cream. Um, now go onto your powder, your foundation powder. Minerals powder, same thing, close enough. Um, struggle to open it and make dust fly everywhere and make funny faces at the camera. Now pick another random brush and just dab that in there and blow it and then just put it everywhere. Dust may fly everywhere, but who really cares because you love to be messy, don't you? Yup, and just put it on there. Um, put it over your eyes too. It does make your eyes sting and you may want to rip out your eyeballs because you want to die But that's good. It really brings out the beauty Yep, now just look at my desk. It's a mess. I hate myself. Oh well though <laughs> Ew, my hands. Okay Yep, that's done. Make cool faces because you're cool Now blow, try and blow away the dust now we go on to blush. You can't, see, okay, you can see it. Good job, Zara. Um, scratch your eye because that powder is burning your eye out and you don't want anyone to know. Um, now try and open the blush and grab a random brush that may have already had stuff on it, but that doesn't matter. <laughs> now make a fish face and put it on there. Most people do this for bronzer or highlighter, but no, this is what you do for blush, guys. Honestly, people should know this by now. Now you want to make an even coverage over everywhere on your face. So put some on your forehead and angrily spread it out and on your nose and on your chin. It makes a really nice tomato effect and I really like that look. The tomato look is really in right now. Um, you may have made more of a mess, but that doesn't matter. No, of course not. Now you do your eyeshadow. Um, you find the random eyeshadow palette that you found in your desk and you get a random fluffy brush thing that you found. You're not sure if it's used for eyeshadow, but oh well. Um, pick a colour. I chose pink because pink is a nice colour. Um, it really goes with the tomato effect. I was going with the blush. Um, and just slather that on your eyes. Um, and then go over your eye crease with a different colour, of course, because you can't have one full colour on your eye, what are you doing? Um, and then blow the brush, and then go for gold in the creep. what's that called again? The corner of your eye. Um, it's really nice, it just makes you look more lively. Um, next you're going to want to go for mascara, but you don't use it for your eyelashes, you use it for your eyebrows. Um, who needs eyebrow pencils these days? Um, just going with the mascara, it's really nice. Um, it gives a really full, nice effect. Um, I really like it. So then you have to try and find what you're looking for in your trash bin. Trash bin? That's not a word. Anyway, you find your eyebrow brush and you just kind of brush your eyebrows. 
um, and make them really beautiful and nice. And then you want to fluff them up to give it that real eyebrow look. Um, you kind of want your eyebrows to look like bushes because that's a really nice effect. Um, next, you have lost something and that's just, yeah, I don't know what I'm doing here. I kind of, I think I lost a brush. I don't know. What am I doing? Scratch head. Uh, uh, okay, I lost my eyeliner. Here is the liquid eyeliner from Savvy. You can't see it because I'm not good at anything. But, yeah, it's liquid eyeliner. So you're going to want to go in with your liquid eyeliner and you just do it on the eyelid but you don't want it to be too close to your eyelashes you want it to be thick and just above and you make a really nice wing here um you can see i accidentally forgot to fill in the middle so i'm just going in with that then um you yeah it looks really good now you've got to try and make this side even um generally making it even doesn't work so you just kind of try and do it but it doesn't work very well but oh well, that doesn't matter, does it? Because you are still going to look fabulous. Um, just want to get some more eyeliner on that and then continue with that. Yep. Um, it may not look even, but that's okay. See, that wing there is really sharp. Um, you want one sharp and one not so sharp. And it looks amazing. I'm so proud of myself. Um, now you're going to want to go under your eye. I don't know what that's called. I'm pretty sure it's called the waterline. Now, sorry, you can't see what I'm doing. Looking in the mirror again. Um, but yeah, and it looks really good. You don't look like a panda whatsoever, um, because pandas are prettier than you, but that doesn't matter, because you look great anyway. Now you're going to want to go in with your two-sided mascara. Um, the first side is white, and you just go over that. This mascara makes your lashes longer than normal mascara, so you just want to go over your lashes with the white, um, white side of mascara. And just do that until your lashes fall off um, and your lashes will be white for a bit but that's okay um, so just continue to fill the, uh, those eyelashes in um, and wait for them to dry you've just got to dry them out a bit this does not help whatsoever but um, while you're waiting for them to dry you may as well do your highlighter now grab the same eyeshadow palette because no one uses highlighter what are you doing no one uses highlighter it's highlighter these days um grab a random brush you find may or may not be the same brush you used for your blush and dab in that gold eyeshadow again and use that as your highlighter with your highlighter you want to go in this side over the same places that you went over with your blush um because it really accentuates your cheekbones and the blush that looks great. Now you're going to want to do it all in all the other places you did the blush. So on your nose, that's a good place to do it. Um, on your chin is a really good place um, because it accentuates your chin and on your forehead. Um, it looks really amazing. And if you're going to have such a beautiful natural glow, it makes your teeth whiter too. Um, okay, now your eyelashes are dry. You can go over the second side. It says number two, as you can see. Yep. Um, it is black, but you don't want the little dollops on the end. That's gross. Um, now you go in with the black mascara um, and just fill them in until your lashes are nice and luscious and long um, because that's a really good look. Um, you want them luscious eyelashes, so don't you? Like, yes. Yes, queen. <sighs> Looking great so far. Uh, don't go with your eyebrows with this mascara, please. Otherwise, your eyebrows will be too thick. There we go. Now just twitch a bit and you'll be good. And there you go. Now take out your hair. Um, fluff it around a bit. Because, and put on your glasses, because this is the finished look. Now you're going to want to just do a random montage thinking that the person who was editing this, aka you, is going to put music over it and you look cool because you do, you look fabulous. Don't mind all the stuff in the background and then look at my desk because it's a mess. Um, I messed up my computer and, you know, but oh well, who really cares? No one cares. 
um, continue to pull more faces because you still think there's music going over the top, but there isn't. Um, pretend to be Tana Mojo with your tongue um, and laugh and put your thumb up. And that's it. Yeah, so that was a monstrosity. I put my music on again. Could turn that off again. That was a monstrosity. Uh, I look like a pile of crap, literally. Look how good my eyeliner is, though. Yas, queen. I hate myself. Um, please subscribe. <laughs> Otherwise, I'm just going to keep making these videos with me being a little piece of crap. Um, please like this video. I've made a massive mess of my desk right now. I have to clean this up later. I have to clean this up. So please give it a thumbs up if you feel sorry for this. I know I do. Um, leave a comment below what else you'd like to see. I'd like to see you delete your channel. Me too. But let's, let's, let's forget about that. Um, yeah. Well, I'll see you guys next time. Bye.